In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an assignment that's been created in Microsoft Word and convert it into a PDF file that will open up in the free program Adobe Reader. Your students are going to be able to write to this file, print from the file, and also save a copy. There are six steps in this process. The first step is to download the assignment builder, which you will find attached to this post. You will open your downloaded file in the free program Adobe Reader. If you don't have a copy of Adobe Reader, you can get one for free by using the URL that's being displayed on the screen. Then simply come to File, Save As, and rename the file. I'm going to call mine new assignment and you'll notice that I used an underscore you never want to use blanks or special characters in file names for PDFs we'll cover the next three steps together so step three is edit select all this is going to allow you to select all the content in your Microsoft Word file step four is to copy that content and step five will be to paste that content into your Adobe PDF form. So here I have my new assignment file open in Adobe Reader. And right next to it, I have a Microsoft Word document opened up in Microsoft Word. This is just a, an ordinary assignment that has questions and places for students to type in their answers. Now, in order to select the content, I can do one of two things. The first is place my cursor right at the top of the document, hold down the mouse, and scroll and highlight all of the text. I can also use a keyboard shortcut, Control A, which will select all the content. Then I right click anywhere where there's highlighted content and say copy, or I can also use the keyboard shortcut, Control C. Once the content is copied, I move over to Adobe Reader and highlight where it says paste content here. Now this is a text field. It's a very special text field that will dynamically expand according to the amount of content that you place in there. So you can use the keyboard shortcut Control V to paste it in or you can come up to the top, click on edit, and then paste and once the content is pasted into the form field clicking anywhere outside of it you will now have a document which is expanded to the size of the content that you have placed in there be it two pages as in this cage or 200 pages and I still have the ability to click anywhere in this field and start typing an answer. You'll notice that the assignment builder has two, in a, two additional fields. A title field and an instruction field. And I can see those fields by pressing on this icon and selecting highlight fields. Now the process to get the content into these fields is going to be relatively the same. We're going to use an edit function but this time, as I highlight my title, I'm going to use Control X, which is Edit Cut. And I'm going to highlight inside my title field here everything except for the first character so that when I paste my information in using Control V, it's going to maintain the formatting that's already there and I can just delete that first character and repeat the process for the instructions. Highlight the instructions, control X, come into the instructions field, highlight everything except the first character or two, control V to paste, and then go in and remove the extra characters. And then I can even come down here and delete these spaces to move my questions up. 
the last step will be saving the changes that you've made to your assignment. Come up to File, click Save, and you're done. You now have a PDF file that your students can open up in Adobe Reader. They can type in their answers. They can save those answers. They can print the form, including their answers, and send a copy back to you to grade.